Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of episode 25 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. We're back with the oldies and we're just going to pick up where we left off. Um, Deborah is going to go take care of Herb's garden before she has to go to school this morning. Coral want, still wants to fall in love and she wants to be best friends with Timothy. This might be her last day of life. Uh, it looks like she's almost to the end of her life meter. So we're going to invite Timothy over as soon as she gets out of the shower and see if we can get her a little romance at the end of her life. Um, I feel bad for Coral. She spent her whole life just taking care of Herb, doing whatever he said, focusing on him, and she never got any time for herself. Now that Herb has sadly passed away, this is Coral's time. And she's going to make the best of it. So let's hope he can come over. Yes, he can. Invite him over. Can my friend come? No, your friend cannot come. Oh, man. This guy is so weird. All right, Deborah, you got to go to school. And we're just waiting for him to show up now. Here he comes. Go greet Timothy. And now we don't have Deborah as a distraction. It's just going to be Coral and Creepy Timothy. And she is very happy to see him. <laughs> Alright, why don't you guys go inside? I don't want you out in the front yard. And let's take a look at their relationship. They have 100 daily and 26 um, lifetime relationship. They need to get that 26 up to 70. Oh my gosh, I just cannot believe this guy is into Coral. It's so weird. Alright, so let's start flirting with him. Well, Coral and Timothy have been flirting for a while. They're not getting as far as I would like them to as quickly as I want them to. I think I'm going to give Coral a secondary aspiration of romance and see if that will help. She's going to make out with him now. Their relationship, their lifetime is 41. But making out gets it pretty high. Oops. Wow, she didn't act like she wanted to do that. This is just so weird to watch. Coral make out with this tattooed guy with his like bondage shorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 45. Still not that much. They're just going to keep trying. Well, Deborah just got home from school, and while I was taking care of her and having her go take care of the garden, Coral and Timothy decided to go get in bed together on their own. <laughs> Let's see. Their relationship is 62. They're best friends now. 63 now. Lifetime relationship. They are so close to falling in love. And I really hope they make it because Coral only has a few precious hours left before I think the Grim Reaper is going to come for her. They're going to make out now. Oh, he fell in love with her. First, she is not in love with him yet, but he is in love with her. Wow, Timothy. You know what's really strange is that he doesn't have any tattoos <laughs> when he's in his underwear. He looks like a normal guy. Oh, they're gonna woohoo now. They're gonna woohoo. Um, all his tattoos disappeared. <laughs> 
That makes no sense whatsoever. I think they're attached to that outfit, but still, it's really weird. Well, Coral, good for you. I'm happy for Coral. She got a little love in her life before the end. Oh, she's in love with him now. And I guess we didn't get the pop-up because they were woohooing. Or not the pop-up, but the little heart above her head. Now, she wants to have two loves at once because I gave her the uh, romance secondary aspiration. Which didn't help her at all in this relationship. And Deborah is now going to tell Coral a dirty joke. <laughs> Coral loves it. Deborah was just digging for treasure in this hole and she found a lamp, a map, I'm sorry, map to the hidden burrow in Three Lakes. So if she wants to go on a vacation when she gets older, we'll probably send her to Three Lakes so she can use that map. She's going to go talk or she's going to go tell a joke to Timothy. She loves telling jokes. I want to look at her personality again. Oh, she's quite playful. He doesn't seem interested in hearing her jokes, but she's going to keep trying. Now she wants to play rock, paper, scissors with him. Oh, Coral needs to go clean that disgusting toilet. Well, it's 6 p.m. on Wednesday, and I don't see the Grim Reaper. Oh, nope, here he comes. Never mind. <laughs> Here he comes for Coral, and he just left. Wow, Timothy's like, I'm out of here. She's going down, and I'm out. Aw, but Coral got the hula dancers, too. She had a wonderful life. She got to have a second chance at love. And poor Deborah. Oh, that just breaks my heart. Now she's an orphan again. She lost both of her parents. Um, she got another 10,000 simoleons. She is loaded now. She has like 40,000 simoleons because she's going to get all of Coral's money as well. Uh, Mary Sue got an got 10,000. Lilith and Angela both got 625 as her grandchildren. And Timothy got 780. I guess he got what he wanted out of Coral. Oh, Deborah. If Deborah decides to go to college now, she will have her complete college tuition paid for and she will be the first sim that that will happen for. Right now I want her to go and deposit that 10000 Oh, she just keeps crying. It's so sad. She's twice an orphan now in her life. And she'll also get a scholarship. What am I trying to do? Deposit 10000 So she's got 20700 in her bank account, and she's got another 10000 in cash here. And we're going to put Coral's gravestone outside in the garden by herbs. And once their ghosts show up, then we will uh, send them to the cemetery. And I, w I didn't wait long enough. She just got the pop-up of the additional 10000 So she actually has 20000 Simoleons in cash and 20700 in her bank account. She has got a lot of money for a teenage girl. They, Coral and Herb left her everything. She also has this trailer. Um, even if she goes off to college, if she comes back, she can have this trailer for free. I think they would have left this house to her. And she continues to take care of Herb's garden. I think it's a good way as a nature sim for her to cope with the loss of her parents. I got a chance card for Deborah while she was at school today. It says, while Deborah is tending to the school garden, she comes across the well-known pest. The garden is barely bringing in enough simoleons to sustain itself, and an unchecked pest problem could ruin the whole crop. Deborah must decide whether to use an expensive organic pesticide or let the crop fend for itself. Um, she's going to use the organic pesticide, I guess. Ooh, she, Deborah's wise choice yields a vegetable surplus and a hundred simoleons for her. Awesome. 
she is now home from school. Her grades are slipping, but I mean, that's understandable. She just lost both of her parents. She brought home Glenn Foster from school. Um, let's see if she rolls any wants. She wants to be friends with Glenn. So I'll have them chat. She, she's also going to have to take care of the garden today. But we'll see if they can have a friendship here. They don't have any chemistry, so that's oh, good. She also has a friend, Marsha Brunig, which we oh, haven't oh, seen Marsha in a long time. Oh, I haven't seen her this round at all. Oh. Oh. Deborah and Glenn have been hanging out for a while, oh, and they have become friends. <laughs> So now she has two friends, Marsha and Glenn. That's pretty nice. Oh, he's no longer a family friend. I guess they... How is that? They are friends. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Um, She wants to gain a skill point, but she also needs to take care of the garden. I want her to do that first. And she's also getting hungry, so she's going to have to cook dinner. She basically has to take care of herself now that Coral's gone. Well, I made her water the plants, and they are overwatered now. That's my fault. <laughs> Sorry, Debra. I made you ruin the garden. So, she had just turned 17. Tomorrow, she will either age up to a young adult or go to college, depending on what wants she rolls. Right now, I want her to make some dinner, and she has a pretty good uh, cooking skill for a teen girl. She's going to cook something for her and Glenn. Deborah just got home from school. She's doing terribly in school, the pop-up said. Um, she has a grade of a D. She's very upset by that. Um, she has not rolled the want to go to college. And if she doesn't roll it by 6 p.m., she is going to be aging up to a young adult and staying here and keeping this house and all of Coral and Herb's money. I'm going to have her clean up the house and get ready for her birthday party. All right, it's 4.45 p.m. She still hasn't rolled the want to go to college. We're about to throw her birthday party for her to become a young adult. Deborah will be my first sim to not go to college. I'm going to buy her a birthday cake. And she's going to throw her party. Oops, don't call Sim. I always do that. Throw party. Birthday party. She is going to wait for Bo to get out of college. Uh, she'll probably want to marry him because she's a family Sim. And I don't foresee her really having much of a career anyway. All she thinks about is babies and getting married. I mean, she's just a classic family Sim. She's going to invite Bo, her friends Marsha and Glenn. And who else should we invite? We'll invite Alexander, and does she know Lucy? She does not. I will teleport Lucy over. Okay, Lucy's here. Not everybody showed up. I wonder who's not going to show. It seems like it takes a few minutes. Let's see. Glenn and Marsha. Seriously, Bo didn't come? Well, we're teleporting him over. He's got to be here for this. All right, Bo, you're here. So everybody's here. I'm going to buy her a stereo because she doesn't have one. Let's see, we'll just, oh, I'm in the wrong place. We'll just buy just a, one of these regular little stereos. So they can dance a little bit. Let's see if she wants to go outside and play catch with Bo. She wants to influence someone to appreciate another sim. Alright, where? I thought Alexander was here. Did he not show up? Okay, I'm going to teleport him over too. 
There we go. Now everybody's here. Okay, it's time. I totally missed... Oh my gosh. I totally missed it. It's 6 p.m. Maybe I can freeze time really quick. Uh, before she ages up and take her to the cake. Freeze time. Blow out candles. <laughs> I always do this. Nope, I didn't make it. She's gonna age up right here. My freezing time did not help. Unfreeze time. Let's get rid of this. Alright, here goes Deborah aging up to a young adult. Nobody's gonna get cake because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> there she is. Now she's taller than Bo. Okay, who do we want to age up with her? We're going to age up Marsha and Glenn. <laughs> Deborah has grown into an adult. As a teenager, Deborah achieved the aspiration level of pride and joy. That's great. Deborah is well on the way to perfection. And she is so pretty. She is such a pretty sim. Let's look at her face. She is gorgeous. She has a ton of money, and this house is hers. This outfit, though, really bad. Oh, there goes uh, Glenn. Now it's Marsha's turn to age up. These guys are all having a great time. She still likes the color pink. Her top was still pink. I'm so sad about this birthday cake. She can only clean it up. Everybody's having a great time, though. Once she gets out of the shower, we're gonna have her. She wants to flirt, but she can't flirt with Bo because he's still a teen. Technically, he hasn't aged up yet since he's gone to college. Influence someone to play with another sim? We can do that. She wants to be best friends with Glenn. And influence someone to appreciate another sim. We'll influence Lucy to appreciate Alexander. Oh, she's crying because she didn't go to college. But she didn't want to go to college. Everybody has regrets, Deborah. I'm sorry. And she still wants to get a kitten and get a kitten or puppy. I will lock that for her and we'll adopt a kitten for her tomorrow now that she's not going to be leaving. I also want to have her buy some new clothes because what she's wearing is horrible. It doesn't really matter. I guess she can keep her pants, um, but we need to get her a different shirt because that just does not go. And she likes the color pink. Everybody's just dancing away and the music's turned off. We'll wait until the party's over to get her new clothes. I don't want her to ignore her guests. Well, the party was a disaster because I think it's because they didn't get cake this time. They didn't even get the option to have cake. So, final party score disaster, even though everybody had fun. And, oh, Marsha. I'm not choosing Marsha's stuff for her. What is up with that? She didn't age up on her own, so I used the Sim Blender to age her up to an adult, and now it's making me choose her stuff. Well, I looked up her Zodiac sign, and she's a Virgo, so I will make her a Knowledge Sim. I'm just going to leave all that crap like it is. She likes aliens and witches. And look at the ridiculous <laughs> outfit she aged up in. That's what she's wearing. Like boots and 
track pants and a shirt. Oh my gosh, that's horrible, Marsha. That's absolutely horrible. If she stays friends with Deborah, I might give her a makeover. Because, oh, that's bad. That's worse than Deborah's. Aw, so she got the memory of having a terrible, awful party. This is like my tenth disaster of a party. <laughs> Everybody's gonna go home. Oh, she's gonna go congratulate Bo for some reason. Bo, she will see you when you get out of college after you age up and you guys can be together. I don't know why these guys are still hanging around, but... I'm gonna have her go and shop online and we're gonna get her a new outfit. Well, I decided to get rid of the ugly pants that Deborah had on and buy her a dress. I feel she's very upset because she didn't go to college. I feel like she is very girly and she likes the color pink. So I found this really cute dress with sandals for her. She was wearing sandals before. And I think it looks really good. I think it really is her. But we are going to have to redo her makeup because her lipstick really doesn't match that at all. So I'm going to take her now. Oops. Actually, no, I'm not because she's going to go to bed. Um, in the morning before she gets ready for, I was going to say before she gets ready for school, but she's not going to be going to school. So in the morning when she wakes up, we will redo her makeup and then we'll see how she's going to look as an adult. The final package. It's 7 o'clock. Deborah's awake now. She first thing we're going to do is call a repairman to come fix the shower. And then we're going to go change her appearance. Yes. And we're going to fix her makeup. Alright. Everything I think is okay except for... I'm going to give her a little bit of a different blush, except for her lipstick. No, that's too light. Too dark. I want... That is perfect. That looks perfect on her, so we're going to keep that. Let's have her go get dressed. Go here. And let's look at you, Deborah. She turned out to be so pretty. I think she's one of my prettiest Sims. Oh my gosh, I can't get my camera straight. There we go. Yeah, I really like how that turned out. And I think the dress really suits her. Now we're going to call and adopt a kitten for her. Call service. She still wants to adopt a kitten. She wants to kiss and flirt and stuff, but she can't do that until Bo ages up. Alright, pet adoption service. Alright, let's find a kitten. She's going to adopt little Bailey. Bailey is a doofus, hyper, cowardly pig pen. <laughs> yes, I want to adopt Bailey. Let's buy our pet stuff. She's going to need a litter box, a bed. We'll get her a nice little basket. Oops. And a bowl. I don't know where we're going to put the bowl. We'll just put it right over here. A cat toy cats need so many things and a scratching post and 
now Zebra will not have to be alone. She will have a pet of her own to keep her company until Bo finishes college. And the new kitten is here. Oh, what a cute um, outerwear she has on. I've never seen that before. I'm sure it's one of my custom Ooh, content pieces. Hello, thank you for bringing me my kitty. Oh, she's already on her way over there to snuggle it. Aww. Deborah was outside working on the garden today and she received a bronze gardening talent badge. She's getting really good at gardening so she's been taking care of these plants. Um, they need to be sprayed but she's going to do that next. It gives her some time outside alone next to her dead parents. It's kind of creepy. All she wants to do today is kiss and flirt which I cannot have her do. It is 6 p.m. on Sunday and Deborah is now 20 years old. Um, I haven't decided how I'm going to handle the aging between her and Bo. I might have to come in and play her a couple more days before Bo technically gets out of college in order to make their age differences sync up. But we'll deal with that whenever we play with Bo. Right now she's 20 years old. And what a week this has been for the oldies. What a sad week. Deborah is now the only remaining member of the oldie family. Herb and Coral have both passed away. I mean, it's sad, but they were really old. They lived until they were 90, so they had nice, long, full lives. Um, Deborah decided she didn't want to go to college, so she just aged up straight to a young adult. And she got a ton of money from Deborah and Coral, I mean, Coral and Herb dying. She has about 40,000 simoleons in total, including what she has in cash and what she has deposited in her bank account. She also had her very first kiss with Bo broke and they started going steady, but once she aged up, they can no longer continue their relationship until he ages up to an adult. But they shouldn't have too much longer to wait. Um, next round when I play Deborah, they should be able to flirt and do romantic interactions again. And I guess that's just about it for this episode, so I appreciate you watching. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. And you can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com. Oh my gosh, check this out! I was just about to end the episode and we got a ghost. Herb's ghost is here, so um, I'm going to send him to the cemetery now and then I'll finish ending the episode so let's send him to Pleasant View Cemetery all right it didn't work let's try it again move this grave to Pleasant View Cemetery okay so Herb's Herb has gone to the cemetery, and now we'll just wait for Coral's ghost to show up to send her. So back to my closing. Um, you can visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in my gameplay rules, any of the mods I use. I also have my Sim profiles and family trees and photo albums there. Um, again, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you with episode 26 very soon.